hello wordpress nerds so in this video we are going to talk about uh, a cf guttenberg block so in order to create a block we will need a cf pro plugin because it's a free it's a pro feature and you don't need to have a knowledge of react and all this is totally going to be a php so that's fine if you don't know uh, react and anything but you need to have a basic knowledge of creating block even if you don't have that um, in this video I'll try to make uh, give some overview of the block basic block uh, but uh, in order to understand properly how this is working uh, you need to have a knowledge of ACF uh, sorry WordPress blocks but anyways a uh, few things you might need to consider I mean you have to accept how it is uh, without asking why if you don't know the uh, creating blocks in the WordPress but yeah this is going to be a very simple tutorial and anyone without having knowledge of react will be able to create ACF blocks so let's jump into the code so first of all we will need to activate ACF pro plugin so I think I have already activated but let's confirm so yeah ACF pro is activated and we will be creating a custom block in my custom plugin so that is also activated so let's go to post and and I have created this block test but uh, let's create a new one let's view this post so currently there will be nothing so now let's beginning let's begin the ACF block so first of all in block development block JSON is the important file and in this file you can provide some basic information about your block so your block name title in which category so there are some categories if you if you observe here like text media and all so here we are adding in the formatting category then icon you can provide dash icon class over here then keyword by which keyword we will be able to search the block so we can use testimonial and quote so when we search that keyword over here our block will be displaying in the result this is the extra stuff for ACF other than that everything is the default block JSON which is used in building WordPress blocks so in the ACF uh, we have to provide this two parameter mode preview and render template or uh, any template file so whatever we want to render we will be adding in this file only so it will be used in preview as well as on the rendering site on the front end so where to add this file so you can add this file in either of your custom theme or your custom plugin path will be the same um, so I'm going to show you that 
adding in my custom plugin same thing you can do in your custom theme as well so it will be in your plugin make a folder called blocks then we are going to call out this block testimonial so we will be creating another folder inside blocks we will call it testimonial and in that folder we will create block.json so all the uh, blocks you will be creating will go inside blocks folder so in blocks.json sorry block.json i will add this code and i won't change anything as of now and uh, after that we have to register the block with wordpress so this code we need to add in php file so i'm gonna open my main file and i'm gonna add one more file called blocks.php and inside this we will be adding register block type um, remember that this is going we have to change this path because we need to give the absolute path of this folder which we just created so I'm gonna use my constant here my plugin path yeah if we put uh, this into the main plugin file then we don't need to change this but we are changing the file location so we have to provide sorry about that we have to provide the proper path location so safer side i'm gonna add trailing slash it so it will add trailing slash and we don't need to add any slash over here so now our path is correct it will be the plugin path then block and then testimonial so plugin path block and then testimonial now let's see what happens until we create this block let's see if we can search our block or not so let's refresh the page and search keyword is this so i'm gonna search with this and so yeah we are able to search our uh, custom block but currently there is no preview because we haven't had anything yet we just registered a block and then now we have to put some more code in order to get the preview so let's move further yeah after that uh, we have to create a field group so let's go to custom fields i have already created a field group called testimonials so let's edit that and I have added title and description in this testimonials and now this is the important step we have to set a rule to show this field group if block is equal to our custom block so once you register your block uh, it will start displaying over here as well so once you do that uh, create fill group set fill group to that block 
and save changes. So once you do that and click here, let's click on this gear icon. So as you can see, uh, it is so the field we added over here, title and description, is started displaying for this um, for this block. So let me remove that and show you again. So let's add testimonial and if we click on edit here so yeah we will be able to see that title and description over here preview and same we will be able to see in this gear icon as well now let's render a block so how to render block so if you remember that we added this render template called testimonial.php so where to add that file so we have to add that file into the same folder which we created inside blocks so i'm gonna add this testimonials.php inside testimonial folder and i'm gonna create so let's try to echo something and let's see what happens let's refresh this again let's try testimonial and as you can see whatever we write over here will display in the preview now we want to display whatever we add in the title and the description field so simply we have to use the acf function so let's get title first so get field and uh, let's use this name then description remember i'm not going to show you the styling and all styling will remain the same i will try to cover in the another video in this video we are just going to create a sample um sample uh, ACF block so inside this H1 I'm gonna echo title let's escape this and let's use let's uh, print this description we don't need to escape this as of now and then now let's try to refresh this block again let's add testimonial block let's wait for the setting so currently nothing is displaying so let's try to add a title So we added this Mahabharata. This is epic. Big 
book let's make some formatting so as you can see our blog is creating a preview and now let's try to update this and let's see how it looks on the front side so as you can see this is how it is looking so yeah this is a basic uh, idea to create a Gutenberg block using ACF and you can use as per your requirement this is just uh, basic of the starting point you can use whatever way you want to have and yeah this is the video guys if you have any doubt or question please write down below in the comment section thanks for watching the video guys